Hey what's going on guys, it's Flo here and today is TDOV which stands for Transgender Day of Visibility. Now today I want to let you guys know what you can do to help support trans people and non-binary people. In, the, in 2018 we still struggle and we're still not fully accepted, like everywhere. Like one of the things that I found in my own personal experience as being non-binary is um, I still get birth named, like, w w the first thing is birth names, I still get birth named every so often, um, like for example, uh, at my job at McDonald's I wear a name badge with the name Florence on it, but yet someone still, I like, still can't register that my name is Florence and still calls me by, by my, um, my birth name, and my family still thinks that when they refer to me before I change my name to Florence, they will say my my birth name and for me that is really hard to think about it. Like like my it triggers my anxiety and that when I hear my birth name and like I even find it really really hard to say my birth name. Another thing is is I find it really hard to call someone who is who is called my birth name. And like that's something I really do struggle with. So number one is don't birth name. Like um, I've done a video before about birth names. Is one don't birth name a trans person, even if you're referring to them before they change the name. You still don't do it. Cause for us, hearing a pain about birth name is really really hard. Two, don't ask what's between our legs. That's a really insensitive question about what's that. What I like to ask what's between our legs. Like um. It's just a really thing, really weird thing to ask somebody in general anyway, like you wouldn't just walk up to a random person and go, oh, wh oh what's between your legs, like it's a really personal thing. So two, don't ask what's between the legs. Three, pronouns. Pronouns are a very big deal. Um, I, for me, I go by they, them pronouns. and. Respect people's pronouns, no matter what pronouns they use, um, no matter how they identify, use the pronouns that person uses. If someone wants to go by he, him pronouns or she, her pronoun, pronouns, pronouns, uh, respect that. Like for some people, they might want to go by he, him, and they, there, and that's totally fine. They can do that. It's all about knowing what that person is comfortable with using. And if you don't know someone's pronouns, um, I do two things, either one, politely ask them, or two, um, if, I don't know their pronoun, if I don't know their pronouns, I will avoid using pronouns until I know, like, until I know what their pronouns are, or if I hear someone else refer to them with a pronoun. Number four, um, standing up for us, like, even if we're not there, still stand up for, stand for us. Um, like if you hear someone call us by a birth name, correct them or use the wrong pronoun. Also, if you misgender a trans person, politely um, apologise. It's such a shame that in year 2018 we are still not accepted in today's society. Like we're still seen as outcasts in a way. The other day, the Sun newspaper they had this he the headline on this the headline on their newspaper was something like, "Oh, this trans man who used to be a woman and this is, is now marrying a woman who used to be a man." And that legit, the moment I saw that, it legit pissed me off. Like it got me really fucking angry. I'm like, "Oh my god, this is on a national newspaper. It's gonna be seen like by loads of people." And that that sort of stuff is still being printed today. And I've still seen. The fact is that people are going to see that and think it's okay to start say that sort of thing, like say, "Oh, this person used to be a man." Like the way the trans community like to see it is, they were they didn't used to be a man. They've always been a woman. Like for me, I've always been non-binary. I didn't just wake up one day and go, "Oh, I'm no longer a man." I have never been a man. So I watched a video by. Bradley Burkholz and he talked about um, transgender and suicide. Uh, a couple of years ago I knew the 
percentage of attempted suicide by trans youth was 48%. Um, it's still at 45% and that is still a high statistic. It's still very high that in this day and age, such a high number of trans people are attempting suicide. And it's really, really sad that, like, when I hear about suicide and that people are dragged to that option, thinking it's the only way out, and it's really, really sad. I just want there to be a day where we, where we can just go out, live our life, be us, and, and like, no one, no one judges us. There are still trans people committing suicide, there are still trans people being murdered just because of who they are and that really, really upsets me. If you know a trans person or a non-binary person or a gender fluid person, by all means love them, support them. Like, ask them what you can do to support that person and the community. By all means stand up for us, even if we're not there, stand up for us and help us. And hopefully one day we will live in a world where we can just be ourselves and not be judged for it. Now hopefully one day we will live in that world and I still hope that we will reach that world one day. To all my fellow trans people out there, to all my trans siblings, I love you, I support you. Um, whatever you're going through, uh, going through um, just to let you know there are people out there who will love you and support you and will do it their best to help you and just to let you know that you are loved by many many people and just ignore the assholes out there and that's all I've got time for for this video guys um, and I'll see you all later bye